Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we were talking about uh, Windows 11 24H2 turning on the uh, encryption with BitLocker, and uh, we, of course, had seen that happen with Insider Belts, and um, we were wondering if that was going to happen. Well, Microsoft today has acknowledged that, yes, the uh, drive encryptions will be on by default when installing 24H2, but not just that. If you go in 24H2 and use one of the options to recover your drive or recover your install with the um, recovery options, and if you decide to use uh, of course, one of the reset this PC sections here, you will, by uh, doing it, uh, enable the drive encryption too. They are saying it will be both on Pro and Home, which means Home will technically get a BitLocker-like encryption. And um, this will happen with 24H2. And of course, there will be a few ways that you can uh, prevent this from happening. One of them is creating a registry key that uh, enables, well, tells the computer that you do not want to enable the encryption. Uh, another one, which is also an easy one with the Rufus tool that we've talked about here several times, has an option where you can just remove the, um, or put a check mark to say, to disable the encryption of drives. So apparently it's a thing, and it's, it's apparently also on the RTM, or the the, the uh, manufacturer kind of build of Windows 11 24H2, uh, which makes me wonder what, um, why is Microsoft doing this, actually? Because it does change performance, especially on, you know, PCs that uh, don't have as much power as others. Um, it, it, I don't know. It's, um, I find, find this to be a little uh, dumb, especially also because you'll have to save the encryption key because you will need it. If you would, um, you know, have a reinstall needed or something that you completely need to do from scratch but keep the data, well, that data is encrypted. You'll need that recovery key. Several ways to save it because it will ask you to save it either into the cloud in a Microsoft account. So if you have your Microsoft account, it's going to be there, but or else you'll have to save it on a, a USB thumb drive or something. So this is making me really, really wonder wh where Microsoft is going and why this is happening. Um, it, I don't think drive encryption is something needed for most people, and I don't think it should be done unless you really want to. Uh, once again, showing us that Microsoft is doing very awkward and, and stupid things lately. Um, so let's hope that this might change over time, but I also, um, we'll have videos showing you how to prevent it from happening. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.